Ugali is a type of cornmeal porridge made in Africa. It is also known as Nshima, Pap, Fuchu, Sadza, and other names. It is sometimes made from other flours, such as millet or sorghum flour, and is sometimes mixed with cassava flour. It is cooked in boiling water or milk until it reaches a stiff or firm dough-like consistency. Names This dish is eaten widely across Africa, where it has different local names. Etymology The word Ugali is a Bantu language term derived from Swahili. In parts of Tanzania, the dish also goes by the informal street name of Naguna or Dani. History Maize was introduced to Africa from the Americas between the 16th and 17th century. Before this, sorghum and millet were the staple cereals in most of sub-Saharan Africa. Maize was readily accepted by African farmers as its cultivation was very similar to that of sorghum but with significantly higher yields. Eventually, maize displaced sorghum as the primary cereal in all but the drier regions. The full replacement of these crops with maize took place in the latter half of the 20th century. In Malawi, they have a saying, Chimanga ndi moyo, which translates to maize is life. N shima, n sima is still sometimes made from sorghum flour, though it is quite uncommon to find this. Cassava, which was also introduced from the Americas, can also be used to make n shima, n sima, either exclusively or mixed with maize flour. In Malawi, n sima made from cassava Chiningua, is localized to the lakeshore areas, however, when maize harvests or poor cassava n sima can be found all over the country. Varieties African Great Lakes Ugali, when it is cooked as porridge, it is called uji, is usually served with salad. It is the most common staple starch featured in the local cuisines of the African Great Lakes region and southern Africa. When ugali is made from another starch, it is usually given a specific regional name. The traditional method of eating ugali, and the most common in the rural areas, is to roll a lump into a ball with the right hand, and then dip it into a sauce or stew of vegetables or meat. Making a depression with the thumb allows the ugali to be used to scoop, and to wrap around pieces of meat to pick them up in the same way that flatbread is used in other cultures. Leftover ugali can also be eaten with tea the following morning. Ugali is relatively inexpensive and thus easily accessible to the poor, who usually combine it with a meat or vegetable stew, e.g., Sakuma wiki in Kenya, to make a filling meal. Ugali is easy to make, and the flour can last for a considerable time in average conditions. Kenya In Luia culture it is the most common staple starch, but is also a key part of Luia wedding traditions. Obusuma prepared from millet known as Obusuma bwo buel, was traditionally included among delicacies on a bride. S high table. Obusuma can also be prepared from other starches like sorghum or cassava. Obusuma bwo. Mwoko. Obusuma is commonly served with samboka, or etsifwa, eliani, vegetables, inyama, meat, inyeni, fish, tamina, whitebait, or omriri, jute leaves. For distinguished guests or visitors, it is usually served with ingoko, chicken. Malawi, Zambia Nsima is a dish made from maize flour, white cornmeal, and water and is a staple food in Zambia Nshima, Ugwali, and Malawi Nsima. The maize flour is first boiled with water into a porridge. It is then paddled to create a thick paste with the addition of more flour. This process requires the maker to pull the thick paste against the side of a pot with a flat wooden spoon called an nt hiko quickly whilst it continues to sit over the heat. Once cooked the resulting n shima, n sima is portioned using a wooden plastic spoon dipped in water or coated in oil called a chipind. Each of these portions is called an nt anda. N shima is almost always eaten with two side dishes, known as relishes, a protein source, meat, poultry, fish, groundnuts, peanuts, beans, and a vegetable, often rape leaves, pumpkin leaves, amaranth leaves, mustard leaves or cabbage. The protein sides are known as Ndiyo or Umanani, Zambia, or Ndiwo, Malawi, and the vegetable sides are known as Masambayor, Umuto Wankandwa, 
In Zambia, in Malawi, this is often accompanied with hot peppers or condiments like homemade hot pepper sauces from peri peri or kambutsi chili peppers or commercial chili sauces like nali sauce. Traditionally diners sit around a table or on the floor surrounding the meal. The diners have to wash their hands as enshima enshima is eaten with bare hands. This is done with a bowl of water. Alternatively the host or one of the younger people present pours water from a jug over the hands of the elders or guests into a bowl. Eating is done by taking a small lump into one's right palm, rolling it into a ball and dipping it into the relish. An indentation in the ball can be made to help scoop the relish or soup. As with many African traditions, age is very important. Washing before the meal, eating, and washing after the meal generally starts with the oldest person, followed by everyone else in turn by age. Nshima, Nshima is relatively cheap and affordable for most of the population, although occasionally prices have risen due to shortages, contributing to economic and political instability. In Malawi, it is normally eaten with utaka, a type of local dried fish. Nigeria In Nigeria, a kamu or ogi is with a consistency similar to American pudding. Ogi, a kamu in Nigeria is generally accompanied with moin moin, a bean pudding or akara, which is a bean cake. South Africa Pap, also known as mealiepop, Afrikaans for maize porridge, in South Africa, is a traditional porridge polenta made from mealy meal, coarsely ground maize, and a staple food of the Bantu peoples of Southern Africa. The Afrikaans word pap is taken from Dutch and means merely porridge. Many traditional Southern Africa dishes include pap, such as smooth maize meal porridge, also called slap pap or soft porridge, pap with a very thick consistency that can be held in hand, styway pap or firm porridge, and a more dry crumbly futhu pap. Futhu dishes are usually found in the coastal areas of South Africa. A variety of savories can be used to accompany pap, made from green vegetables, and flavored with chili. South Africans in the northern parts of South Africa eat it as the breakfast staple, with milk, butter, and sugar, but also serve it with meat and tomato stew, usually tomato and onion, at other meal. When they have a braai, bogobi or styway, pap with a savory sauce like tomato and onion or mushroom is an important part of the meal. Fuchu pap is popularly served with borwars, a combination that later became known as pap n wurs, also called pap n b lays. In the Cape Province of South Africa, it is almost exclusively seen as a breakfast food. Since mealy meal is inexpensive, poor people combine it with vegetables. It can be served hot or, after it has cooled, it can be fried. Fuchu porridge is sometimes enjoyed with chakalaka as a side dish with brais. Uphuthu is a South African method of cooking mealy meal whereby the end product is a finely textured coarse grain-like meal which is typically enjoyed with an accompaniment of vegetables and meat in Kwa Zulu Natal and Eastern Cape regions of South Africa or as the star of the dish with Amasi or Moss in the Gauteng regions. Some cultures add sugar to Uphuthu and Amasi to enjoy it as a sweet treat that would resemble cereal however the corn-based stable is typically enjoyed as is with Amasi. Futhu or Uphuthu, also incorrectly spelled as putu or fuchu, is a traditional preparation method of maize meal in South African cuisine. It is a crumbly or grainy type of pap or porridge, eaten by most cultural groups in South Africa. Futhu is often eaten with meat, beans, gravy and sour milk. Fuchu South Africa, Basutu, Naguni, Afrikaner. Zimbabwe Sadza in Shona Isichwala in Isindebel, or Pap Buswa or Bogobi in South Africa, or N Sima in the Chichewa language, or Ugali in East Africa, or Falache in Botswana, is a cooked maize meal that is the staple food in Zimbabwe and other parts of Southern Africa. Sadza is made with finely ground dry maize, corn maize, mealy meal. This maize meal is referred to as Hupfu in Shona or Impufu in Dabeli. Despite the fact that maize is an imported food crop to Zimbabwe, c. 1890, it has become the chief source of carbohydrate and the most popular meal for indigenous people. Locals either purchase the mealy meal in retail outlets or produce it in a grinding mill from their maize. 
Zimbabweans prefer white maize meal. However, during times of famine or hardship, they resorted to eating yellow maize meal, which is sometimes called Kenya, because it was once imported from that nation. Before the introduction of maize, sadza was made from zabio finger millet. Sadza is typically served on individual plates, but traditionally sadza was eaten from a communal bowl, a tradition that is still maintained by some families mainly in the rural areas. It is generally eaten with the right hand without the aid of cutlery, often rolled into a ball before being dipped into a variety of condiments such as sauce, gravy, sour milk, or stewed vegetables. Notable foods eaten with sadza include Meat is known as nyama in Shona. Red meat, includes beef, mutton, goat M. Budzi in Shona, and game meat Cow hoof, amankjina, mazondo Oxtail Other food stuff include intestine, tripe, offal, ezingafakathi, includes amathumbu, amafafu, izabindi, utwain, alusu, umbandeni, in dabeli known as matambu, sun-dried vegetables known as umfushwat mufashawa, and many more White meat, includes huku or inkuku, chicken meat, ho, fish, fish, inlanzi and dibeli, including the small dried fish kapenta, mopane worms, medora, amasimbi, edible moth caterpillar, spring greens, known as imabita in the dibeli language, muriwo in the Shona language, sugar beans, known as indumba in dibeli, nyamba Shona, cabbage. Dariri Dalele, Okra, Cleom Gynandra, Ulud in Dabeli, Nive in Shona, Pumpkin, leaves known as Mubora in Shona or Ivhakola in Dabeli, Soured Milk Natural Yogurt, known as Amasi in Dabeli or Naguni languages in South Africa, Mukaka Wakakora in Shona, or Lacto, Soya Chunks, Soups and Stews sadza and ox bone. Similar dishes Similar dishes are polenta, from northern Italy, and grits in the southern United States. Fufu, a starch-based food from West and Central Africa, may also be made from maize meal, in which case it may be called fufu corn. In the Caribbean, similar dishes are su-su, Barbados, funchi, curacao, and fungi, Virgin Islands. It is known as funche in Puerto Rican cuisine and mei mulan in Haitian cuisine. Dishes similar to pap include banku, izadudu, uphuthu, umpokoko and yunkusho. Gallery See also Chapati Cornmeal Fufu suji. Grits Italy Malawian cuisine Mwa Mwa Mamaliga Polenta Tuareg food List of African dishes List of maize dishes List of porridges References Citations Sources McCann, James C. 2009. Stirring the Pot – A History of African Cuisine. Athens, Ohio, Ohio University Press. ISBN 9780896802777. South African Cuisine Basic Future Recipe What is Futhuth? Following books, set in Zimbabwe, discuss the characters eating the Zimbabwean staple, sadza Dangarevga, C.C. Nervous Conditions. Ayavia Clark Publishing, is a semi-autobiographical novel focused on the story of a Rhodesian family in post-colonial Rhodesia present-day Zimbabwe, during the 1960s. In Douglas Rogers
Book The Last Resort, A Memoir of Zimbabwe, September 2009, Naomi, an elderly Malawian woman whom Rogers calls Mrs. John, brings her husband, John Miranda, the other John, John Aganika, and Rogers' bowls of warm sadza, which Rogers explains Mrs. John cooks daily, over a wood fire outside the Miranda's. Home, Crown, Random House, LLC, ASIN, B002PXFYIS, Chapter 4, Page 23. External links Congo Cookbook Kenya Recipes A Brief History of Maize Article on N. Shima and NDIWO BBC article about N. Shima Kutupap How to prepare sadza Sadza, stew, and vegetables Poem on sadza in Shona Poem on sadza 2 in Shona